What's poppin'? All right, we got Jen versus Spoopy. Spoopy, a name that I keep seeing, uh, sort of in the upper echelons of Xeno specifically, but not quite PR. Just like, you'll always see top 24 Spoopy, but you'll always see Jen much higher than that. Um, and I've not, never seen them fight before, so I'm excited to see this. Don't know a lot about how Toon Link matchups work. I feel like he functions a little differently than a lot of the, like he feels like he has different physics sometimes when I fight him, so I'm not quite sure how matchups will end, but I'd imagine that uh, Pally does decently well against zoners. I don't know, Reflector's like overrated when it comes to fighting against characters with that many varied projectiles like uh, Toon Link. Oh, wow, worst DI I've ever seen. Uh, down throw back air seals it. Scoopy's trying to get a dash attack or an up tilt or boomerang as like a combo starter to begin with. Oh wait, no. Yeah, no, he'd get like forward air out of it. Um, F smash or F tilt, they both look pretty similar to me. Uh, that takes it. So it's not one or uh, even stocks. Scoopy kind of giving up center stage uh, pretty freely. Jen fine with just patrolling it. He's holding the shield. It isn't that much risk. Uh, wow. Surprising strings pulled together. Um, yeah, there isn't that much of a problem just holding your shield against Toon Link. Uh, grab is enough of a commitment that you can just kind of let him tire himself out. Good reflect. Let's see if anything can get started. Um, I don't know. Spoopy's just like Relying on projectiles to get some stuff, you know, some damage tacked on, maybe get a confirm out of it. Um, let's see. No edge guard. Even though Spoopy went for the BP up B. Down throw. Back here doesn't connect with this percent with the proper DI. All right, last hit was important, getting him away from the Palu ledge traps. No confirm. He got it. I don't think he expected the bomb to con connect there, but I think he could have gotten something off of it. Uh, and still content just kind of nickel and diming. He doesn't want to give Jen much of an opportunity to get anything going. Slowly pushing him to the ledge. Fewer options. Fewer, less room for mix-ups and all that. And what he wants is Jen just kind of approaching him uh, so he has more options to call, call stuff out. But that back is going to put him in a bad spot. The bomb's going to keep him alive. Wow! And... Uppy's going to kill off the side. Ooh, just rolls out of the way. The up smash. Surprisingly great shield pressure for Toon Link as a character. Um, and it's really unexpected. The hitboxes are kind of unexpected in how quick they come out. Spoopy's making good use of it, not getting punished out of shield very often. Grab enough of a commitment to get punished. It's the turnaround. Oh. I love the thought, confirming off the bomb, but doesn't quite get it. Back throw, easy. Especially on this stage, that would have killed 50% sooner. I don't think I've seen a single uh, Nair Train get started um, from Jen. I don't know if he's really going for that many. It feels like if, if he Nairs at Toon Link's shield, Toon Link's out of shield game is pretty good with a disjoint, so, and it hits both sides. Um, Alright, off stage. Flawless air dodge to the ledge. I don't know about that bomb toss. Off stage. Jen content not to go off stage. Like, he's getting a lot off these ledge traps. There's no reason to do anything else. Threatening that back air. Doesn't do anything with the air dodge. He wanted it, but he didn't think he would get it. So yeah, Spoopy loves it when Jen's running at him and he gets to throw Boomerang or something. Um, maybe catch him preemptively and get a confirm out of that. Wow. Oh boy. Super patient play from Jen. Doesn't really work out. Both of them kind of content with their distances, but Jen fundamentally in the worst position there. Spoopy going up one. I wish I had the info on, like... That's not me. I, I stopped keeping track of like watching streams and stuff, but I, I wish I had more info on like PR wins for Spoopy. My only frame of reference is having fought both of these guys in bracket. Three, two, one, go. Uh, 
Double dash attack starting it off. It stayed at PS2. Um, my brain told me that this was game three for some reason. But yeah, back to PS2. Jen seems pretty content here. Good juggle from Spoopy. Palutena not the easiest character to juggle, so. Up angle boomerang trying to catch a jump out of shield there. Maybe get a forward air, which would have sealed it. Um, Jen staying grounded instead. But that's going to be pretty quick stock. Dang. I've been kind of waiting to see what Jen has as like a clear answer. I feel like Jen often pulls away. Oh, that's a pretty clear answer. Jen often pulls away and like, I feel like drops game one to a lot of people uh, and then hard adapts. I feel like that's the nature of good players in general, but New York PR, in my experience, is really good at that. Um, proper mindset shifts. Back here, still not getting it. But as I say, yeah, Jen is pulling away, is succeeding with the ledge traps a lot better, threatens off stage. I love that. But the last hit of up being going to prevent the edge guard. Eyeing out, nothing doing. Had the read, but didn't get the execution right. This should kill. Oh, yeah. Blast zones on this stage, um, I think, are identical to Battlefield. It's just that the stage itself gets closer to the edge. The stage is bigger, but the blast zones are identical. Ledge to blast zone ratio, yeah. Shorter. All right. Top spot for Spoopy here. As I mentioned, it, it came true. Gem sort of finding footing here in this matchup. Um, not falling for as much. Looking for a jab reset there, but Jen, I think, A-lands to not get put in a tech situation. Let's see. Okay, yeah. DI in that time. I like that. Poopy was opting to just, like, give up pressure a little bit. It's like, you know what? I'm going to reset to center stage. Uh, but that didn't matter because Jen took it right back. Now Poopy at the ledge. A lot of this game kind of feels like, how is Spoopy going to react to Jen's shield habits? Shield, wow, that didn't kill. Shield seems like a really tough to contest option for Toon Link, surprisingly. Like if Jen runs at you in shields, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna grab? It's a pretty high commitment grab. Uh, doesn't have the quickest startup, but you can, there isn't that much shield pressure. So like eating a couple of aerials and projectiles on the shield is not a huge deal. You can just kind of tire out a Toon Link um, until they retreat a little bit. And then you're like, okay, I'll just recharge my shield and get back and do the same thing. Um, yeah, it didn't feel like Spoopy had anything, any answer to Jen's shield habits. And both these guys, solo mains as far as I understand. Are we... Oh, we're going to Alabaster. Right, Jen's starting off with... Man. <laughs> you don't see fair trains as, as often with Palu. Um, Jen's going for a lot of stuff. Uh, man, wild. These, these are such nonsensical looking combos. They all look like if you were to do them in the combo room, they aren't real, but they are technically real. Um, what do we got going here? Janet Ledge, playing well around the bomb. No one not to be too afraid of projectile options. Like, he's just gonna run under the bomb. A lot. I feel like a lot of people will end up giving too much respect to projectiles, and then they're stuck in shield and not worrying about repositioning. Jen is, wow, the drag down. I haven't seen that, and it still kills. All right. So we're going to be looking for bomb and boomerang confirms here for the kill, most likely. All oh, the tech is... Miss tech is definitely... Definitely going to be sealing that stock. All right, no further follow-up off the bomb. Jen does not want to be underneath this platform any longer. Luke has kind of proved that... Uh, 
he can make landing really difficult for Palutena. Staying at ledge. Going for it, but... Up smash really safe on shield there. Alright, what's Jen gonna do with center stage now? Ooh, beautiful turnaround grab. That's the type of answer I'm looking for. Like, if Jen runs at you in shields, and it's five times in a row that it happens, and you're just going to keep, like, narrowing, it's not going to work out. So the turnaround grab there was a, a good adaptation. I hope to see a little bit more of a dialogue between those two on the shield. Uh, yikes, I think that was bad DI. I didn't see any red spark. This should be a lot of damage. 33. Off stage without a jump. Oh, that's that. Top SD. And that was going so great for Spoopy, too. Spoopy was solidly in the lead for a lot of that. No the way. They got Ricola's back here. That's perfect. God, I love house. Yeah, that Zare, it's such an unexpected... It's like getting hit with Pikachu down tilt from the air. It's such a... If you don't see it coming, reacting to it is really difficult. Jen disgracing himself by not hitting that spike at the end. But, you know, Spoopy also disgracing himself by SD. 